Many people are aware of a cruel Russian maniac named Chikatilo who killed more than 60 people. But in the animal world, there are maniacs who would laugh at this number. Today, we're going to recall the various animals that kill people not only for food, but for pleasure. We present to you the top five most famous animal maniacs. The channel, The Best of the World, is on the air. Our story starts with that which occurred in Japan in 1915. In the village of Senkibetsu, a giant bear known as Kisagaki lived nearby the village. From time to time, he visited the village and ate corn. The locals did not like this, so they shot at the animal. But the bear was not killed, just injured. The beast ran away to the mountains to heal its wounds, and while there, its anger grew towards the people of the village. In the winter, Kasagaki returned. He silently entered a farmer's house and killed his child and his wife. That same day, 30 people moved into the forest to find and kill the beast. Since the tracks were rather fresh, the bear could be found quickly. They opened fire on him and wounded him again, but they could not kill him. The animal escaped once again. The bear realized soon that since the hunters were running after him, the village was left unguarded. He walked around the mountain and then returned to the village to attack a neighboring house. There, the beast killed two children and a pregnant woman. The villagers were horrified and many guards abandoned their post. The next day, the bear killed seven people and didn't eat half of those he killed. As a result, hunters from several villages joined together, and in a few days, they were able to shoot Kasagaki. Although the story with this bear is creepy, it is nothing compared to what will be discussed further. Fourth place in our top five is awarded to the story which became the basis for three feature films and a book. Events took place in Kenya in 1898, during the construction of a railway bridge across a river named Tasaba. One night, the workers began to disappear from the camp. It soon became clear that people were being dragged away from their tents by a man-eating lion. In fact, there were two animals that turned out to be brothers. The hunters were sent into the forest to bring back the heads of the lions, but the lions were elusive. For several months, they continued to attack workers and eat them in the bushes. Soon, the animals became so cheeky that they stopped dragging people far away from the camp and began to devour them just a few meters from the tents. Moreover, they started to attack in the afternoon. The size and ferocity of these animals made the workers consider them as demons. The lions were named Ghost and Darkness. When the number of deaths exceeded 100, workers began to run away from the camp. Construction on the railway bridge stopped. The chief of the construction was so infuriated by this fact that he took a gun and went to kill the monsters himself. He found the lair of the man-eater, a cave where the remains of the workers were found. It was strange that the lions ate less than half of the 140 people they killed and the others they didn't even touch. Consequently, they concluded that the lions just killed for pleasure. This distinguishes animal maniacs from the simple man-eater. After many weeks of persecution by the lions, the chief found one of the brothers and being on the edge of death, he was able to shoot the animal. The second lion was killed by Patterson 20 days later. Thus ended the bloody feast of the brothers maniac. The workers returned to their railway and soon completed the bridge. Another amazing story which became the basis for two films occurred in 1764 in the northern French province of Givaudan. Within two months, the beast killed a woman, two children, and five teenagers. Soon, two hunters managed to find him and severely injure him, but the predator managed to escape. A couple of months later, he returned and continued to sow death in the province of Givaudan. When the animal's attack reached frightening proportions, the army was sent by a military governor to exterminate it. But the troops could not catch and kill the beast. Sometimes he killed a few people a day, and many of their bodies were not eaten. This led many hunters to come to the conclusion that the beast kills not only because of hunger, but also for pleasure. Over the next year, the beast committed 134 attacks, killed 55 people, mostly children and women. He never got caught in traps and snares, and he ignored any baits that were scattered in the forest. And within three years, 
he successfully avoided all raids on him. All this indicated that he has an extraordinary animal intelligence, which convinced the ignorant peasants that they were dealing with a werewolf. Eventually, the hunters came to the conclusion that the Givaudan beast is just an unusually large wolf with a mental defect. The problem was that in those lands lived thousands of wolves. How do you find out which one of them was the same maniac? That's why in order not to make a mistake, the government decided to kill all of them. In a few months, thousands of wolves were exterminated, but the Givaudan beast was not among them, and the killing of the people continued. During one of the largest raids on the wolves, the maniac was shot by Jean Chastel, who loaded his gun with consecrated silver bullets. During the hunt, a giant wolf jumped out of the forest. He stopped in front of Chastel and looked at him. At that moment, the hunter shot him point blank twice. The wolf was killed on the spot. When the wolf's belly was ripped open, the remains of a girl who was eaten the day before were found inside. This fact proved that it was the Givaudan beast. By the time of his death, he had managed to kill 113 people. By the way, the fact that the beast was shot by silver bullets made even more people think that he was a werewolf. All the animal maniacs presented in this top five have already died, except one. In the African country of Burundi, the biggest devourer of people in our times lives a huge Nile crocodile by the name of Gustav. It weighs a ton. His length is more than seven meters. During his life, the monster has killed more than 300 people. According to local habitants, the crocodile does not always eat his victims. This fact suggests that this is a maniac, not just a man-eater. All attempts to exterminate him have never been successful. He was even fired upon with a Kalashnikov gun. Today, Gustav is easily recognizable by the scars from bullets. In 2002, there was an attempt to capture the crocodile in a huge cage trap. However, Gustav, in addition to being able to avoid it, also broke the cage. Many times the information service that the famous reptile has been killed. There even were pictures. However, all this turned out to be a lie, as an expedition of National Geographic discovered in 2008. They claim that the man-eater feels well to this day. In general, I do not advise you to swim in African rivers. Well, the title of the most horrible man-eater in history goes to the Champovet Tigress, who organized a real genocide in the early 20th century in Nepal. Men, women, and children have been caught in her ambush by the tens. When the number of deaths exceeded 200, the Nepal government sent a national army to kill the man-eater. Pursued by the army, the tigress fled to the neighboring country, India, to the Champovet region, where she continued her feast with strong vigor. After a while, she became so bold that she walked roaring on the roads around the villages in daylight, scaring the locals, and she often tried to break into their homes. The last hope was laid on the legendary hunter of the animal maniacs, Jim Corbett. After Corbett came to kill the Champovet tigress, it did not take a lot of time for him to find her. He found her eating a 16-year-old girl. Without hesitation, the great hunter shot and killed the tigress, thereby putting an end to her bloody adventures. For his merit, the grateful Indians recognized Corbett as a saint. By the time of her death, the tigress had killed 436 people, which makes her the absolute winner of our top five animal maniacs. By the way, you could win $10 by writing your cool comments on this video. And if it scores not one like, then you'll be the winner. Goodbye.